This is what we've been working on for the last two and a half years. This is the new building that is been, has been growing on 20th Street, uh, designed by Seldorf Architects. Um, it is a, a, a new gallery in addition to the space that we have on 19th Street. There's some, com some confusion that we're moving, we're not moving, we're just adding the space. Uh, it is a, um, a from the ground up building. We had, there was a, a three-story three parking garage on, on that <coughs> site. We tore it down uh, and started fresh. And this is only a gallery. It's not a development. We're not selling condos. <laughs> we just built a, uh, a gallery. Uh, Chelsea is such that you either built a single-story structure, that's what's allowed, or you have to go up 60 feet. So we had a little bit of a dilemma because we knew a single-story structure wasn't going to be big enough for exhibition space and offices, but a full-blown 60-foot, uh, five-story structure would have also been a little over the top. So uh, you will see that the building is indeed five stories tall uh, on the front and on the side. So we took an L shape within the uh, footprint of the site uh, and moved that one up 60 feet, and we have uh, the, the bulk of the space a single story with daylight, uh, a column free exhibition space. So what we're going to do in the building is, uh, of course, show work on the ground floor in that column free space that we can divide at will. But we also have exhibitions on the second floor, which has a much more domestic feeling. Uh, it will not have a concrete floor, but it will have a wood floor. Um, the spaces are more like you would find uh, on a townhouse, in a townhouse on the Upper East Side. Uh, I've always been, uh, I'm a huge fan of Richard Serra, period, but I'm always been, I've always been really fascinated by the early work because there's this period uh, from the late 60s into the early 70s where, where he's experimenting with a lot of different materials. And it gets slightly overshadowed by his monumental work in metal and steel that sort of grows out of the work and starts really in earnest in the mid-70s. So we went to Richard and asked him whether he would let us put together an exhibition really focusing on the period before he's decided to stick to just one material, namely steel. And he's been very excited about this and has helped us. Uh, there'll be loans from the studio, there'll be loans, loans from the Museum of Modern Art, from the Guggenheim, from the Stedley. And I think uh, if we can pull it off, uh, we will create the definitive show of the early work by this fantastic artist. I think this show will also exemplify what we want to do in a new space. We really want to do uh, historic exhibitions uh, where we can go in depth on a particular period of an artist, uh, maybe a kind of depth that a museum can't quite uh, accommodate because they will probably look at a, a larger spectrum of what this artist has done. The you know, most significant artist of his generation, um, he approached the gallery uh, last fall, ironically sort of in the thick of Hurricane Sandy cleanup, uh, and suggested that he, he was actually one of the people that gave us a wonderful piece for Artists for Haiti. One of the ways we got to know each other better was through that benefit. Suggested that he would like to do a show on 19th Street. Uh, that he was working on something totally new that nobody had seen. And he wanted a, a fresh, fresh start somewhere, a uh, fresh set of eyes on this particular work. Uh, we've been in the studio a whole bunch since uh, with Jeff. He has postponed shows in the past, so um, I, I'm now reasonably optimistic that this show will really happen in May <laughs> because he's incredibly excited about this new body of work. He's a little shy to, it's not shy, but he's a little shy to, to show any images of this particular body of work yet because he's really still working on it, thinking about it. And I think that's probably going to come in March that we have actually images. So now everyone's been asking me about it and what's what's going on. I have to say, we did make a little studio visit the other day. It was one of the great, great experiences of my life. I have to say, it was really just a privilege to be there, hear an artist like that talk about his work. It was just so pure and so like a child, almost. And like David said, we worked with the studio on Artists for Haiti, and I, I love the staff that's there. And he has this, similar to the gallery, he has a lot of people who've been with him for a very, very long time. So there's like a really good vibe in the studio and I'm really excited to be working with them.